everyone has a plan. You might not realize it. You might be thinking, no, I don't have a plan. Well, Big Brother's got a plan for you. It's called the laws of intestacy. Intestacy means no will. So if a person passes away, we look to see if they have a last will and testament. So that controls their estate. So everything that a person owns or is entitled to after they're gone is part of their estate. Now, if a person does not have a last will and testament, uh, what happens to their stuff if they pass away? Who gets it? So there's a default order, which is called the laws of intestacy. So if you're married, by default, your, your spouse will be your beneficiary most of the time. Now, if your spouse had children from a prior relationship and they pass away without a will, then by default, those laws of intestacy, half goes to their children and half would go to their spouse. Now, this can be a devastating result. I've seen that happen several times. You know, recently, we had a, a lady lost her husband, passed away. Only asset was the house. There, there was a mortgage on it. There was some equity there. She was living in it and was able to afford the payments, but we had the problem of, of the other beneficiaries. We had to, uh, they're entitled to a half of that house. So I think it had to be sold so that she could share um, half of it with them. She didn't have any other assets to pay them their share. If that's your situation, if you're married and your partner has children from a prior relationship and you haven't done your last will and testament, you should go ahead and write something by hand right away. So if you want to make sure your partner is protected, you can do what's called a holographic will, handwritten, where you write it out on paper. Also, if your partner, if you're not legally married, so if what you would consider your, you know, your, your partner, significant other, whatever you want to call it, if the law doesn't recognize your relationship, then if you pass away, one passes away, the other person has no rights. So again, that's an important situation that you want to make sure that we plan for. Um, something else too is your, your children. So if you have children that aren't legally adopted by you, you know, maybe um, they were your partner's children when you got married and you know, they could have been in your life you know, forever, you know, but they weren't legally born to you and legally adopted by you, then there's no rights for them as well. So that's an important situation when you would want to update your plan and even do a, a handwritten holographic will to make sure they're protected.